Trace, uh, Michigan State was going to, you knew they were going to come at you differently than, than the other guys have the last couple of games where you had to do a lot of good decision making. But how much easier does it make it all when, when Trey and Tamar are contributing so much offensively, not only from three, but just with drives and everything else? Yeah, just um, it just opens up the floor, really. Um, I thought I missed a few bunnies early, and um, they were kind of sitting. and then But we were moving the ball around, and they were hitting shots. And then it kind of, in the second half, it spaced the floor and allowed me to go one-on-one. -on -one, and um, I feel like there's not a person in the country that can honestly guard me. So um, it is what it is when we hit shots, and everything's clicking. We're a great team, and we're tough to beat. You guys had lost three in a row, and there was some grumbling and stuff. People were questioning this team. You've now beat Wisconsin, Illinois, and Michigan State by an average of 15 points. What's changed? Um, I just think that we finally got um, acclimated to uh, the new the new unit that we had in, and um, honestly, we we're just. Um, we're just playing for each other, and um, that's the biggest thing for us. Um, like I said about JG, um, he didn't have a great game today, but Malik came in and he stepped up, and um, that's what we got to do. Guys are starting to step up, and um, we just got to continue. And then Race came back, so that's good. We're going to try to get him in, and um, with X hopefully coming back uh, here soon, um, we just got to keep rolling, and guys have got to keep stepping up. So, right, thanks, Trey. Trey, we saw you kind of do some primary – ball handler stuff last season when guys were injured or out or whatever. Coach said he really challenged, I think, both of you this summer to step up your ability to kind of bring the ball up the floor, get the team into the offense. You had a lot of that today. What has that sort of journey been like for you in terms of maybe not being an out-and-out -out point guard, but doing a lot of point guard type stuff? Yeah, um, I mean, just running that second unit this fall really helped me out um, and to get me ready for the season. I mean, it was it was really hard going against Jalen and um, Xavier in the fall, and they made me a lot better um, being being able to handle the ball and bring it up. So I think just the practice against each other and getting that experience in practice um, really helped out and um, it showed today. Tomorrow, real quick, did you see what Leilani did at halftime? I did see that she uh, took the dub, uh, <laughs> comeback <laughs> win. And it was really just because she was ready to get picked up. I think she was crying the whole time, but we'll, we'll take it. First competition ever, so um, she's undefeated. My, my, my real question is, um, you know, you, you went into this game, Michigan State's playing a lot of three-guard lineups. I, were you kind of being prepped that you might have an outsized role in this game because of that? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And obviously with the way that Trace is playing, we knew we had to just stay ready, whether it's to be ready to shoot or drive. But... Um, yeah, but I mean, more so just being ready on the defensive end because we knew with them playing three guards, our three guards have to be able to um, make up for everything that they bring on both ends of the floor. So, you know, we, we were all definitely ready to go. Tamar, what's it like kind of playing in the ultra competitive atmosphere against such a well coached Tom Izzo team? Coach Woodson said that you guys knew that you had to bring a little extra energy today. I mean, it is, it's literally what we do it for, like all the work we put in. Um, as individuals and as a team up until this point, like, you know, that's that's what you play college basketball for. We look forward to every game, but, you know, especially when, you know, we have a really good opponent coming in, everybody um, raises their level of play. Jeff. Trey, this is for you. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Trace, kind of big picture. You know, he ties Jeff Newton for the IU block record. Uh, back to back 30 point games. He's got 40 career double doubles now. What are we looking at when we're looking at him play this well? Um, I mean, I, it's a good question. I, I, it's, it's pretty special. I mean, cause just the improvement that he's made from last year, just taking the pressure, um, and, and handling it so well, I think just, I mean, cause we're, we're our backs were against the walls early in the big 10 season. We, he stayed composed. Um, and I know he was hurting and he was battling through that. And I, now he's, he's finally kind of healthy. So it's, it's showing. So I think just him sticking with it. And I think just him being a willing passer too, they can't, they're not that one as much. So he's, he's being able to create so much more options for himself or others. So I think it's, it's, it's honestly just incredible just to watch him keep performing like this. And I'm, I'm glad he's on my team. Tomorrow, uh, it seems like every Big Ten team has gone through the stretch that you guys have gone through, you know, a number of wins followed by a number of losses or vice versa. You guys can only control your own house, so how do you, you know, keep things going and avoid that trap that some of the other teams in the league have fallen into? 
I mean, for us, it's just about staying locked in, um, solely focusing in on every opponent one at a time, and then just um, sticking to what's working. Like, we can tell just from playing the game and then watching film um, what's winning us these games, and everything is starting on the defensive end. So, you know, just sticking to our habits, and like you said, controlling what we can control. Um, I feel like if we do what we do best, I mean, we'll live with the results. Jim? Trey, one of the things that's been talked about, especially during the losses, was a lack of fire with the team. And, and then now you guys have won three straight, and the defense has come back. But something I saw today, it seemed like there was a lot more emotion out there, not just uh, tenacity, but emotion. What has been the difference between the, the three-game losing streak and the three-game winning streak? What changed for you guys? Yeah, I think we kind of just looked, our, looked ourselves in the mirror and just we, we knew what we had to do. And it was, it was play defense and play harder. I think just getting back to what we did last year, I, I, we were really good defensively last year, and we watched some of those games and we, we saw some of that. But I think just, it's, I mean, obviously it's a new team, but we had to go back to our principles and what Coach Woodson preaches, and that's, that's, that's defense. And we weren't doing that in those losses. And now, now we're finally kind of coming together and, and playing harder on the defensive end, and it's leading to more offense since we're getting stops. So. Last question, Alex. Trey, was there anyone on the team that, <clears throat> after that three game losing streak, that kind of took the reins and kind of said, like, we got to make changes. And what, what were those conversations like when you guys kind of had to do some soul searching and, and figure things out as a team? Um, I mean, we all kind of just came together and no, nobody panicked. Um, cause there's, like I said, there was, there's no reason to panic because it's, it's a long Big Ten season and there's st still a lot of games left. So we can't get too high, we can't get too low. Um, we won three games in a row, we lost three games in a row, so we just got to stay even keel the whole time and, and know that it, we got a lot more games to be played. And so we just got to take it one game at a time and, and keep, keep focusing on the task at hand. Thanks, guys.